like and subscribe. What are you 100% certain is true despite having no evidence to confirm or disprove your belief? A supervisor changed my days off at the last minute without telling me in an attempt to get me fired for attendance. My cat knocked over the water glass on purpose. I don't even know your cat and I am also 100% sure of this. BuzzFeed employees make us credit posts to help them write articles. Phone and internet providers start out solid and over time purposefully make the product worse to encourage you to upgrade. My bond with my bearded dragon goes beyond hell as warm. I understand the limitations of his tiny nervous system and that he is not capable of affection. I just firmly believe that he not only wants heat and food but that he finds my presence to be pleasant. That boy will come off his basking log as hot as hell ever need to be, with a belly full of bugs, and still come hauling over, just to fall asleep on me. I don't know what it is, but it hurts more than just him seeking the necessities. It's gonna be alright. I think my mom's ex-boyfriend raped my sister. We don't have any evidence. He was abusive towards my mom. So we got him out of her life, and then we noticed my sister gets noticeably on edge around men. He won't talk, and my sister is mentally disabled, and won't tell us. I'm 100% certain of it in my gut. Aliens exist all over the universe. People with lower IQs are happier, because they aren't constantly overthinking, looking for self-transcendence, analyzing everything around them, and expecting too much of themselves. The big hot pockets from a convenience store, have different fillings than the small ones from the grocery store. I swear they taste different. That those people who accidentally show porn in class, are secretly getting off on it. I am being pushed aside for leadership roles at my company, because I am a good reliable worker and they have a shortage of those. Garbage trucks have loud brakes, to give us one last chance, to get the bins out. Something in my old elementary school is causing people to get cancer. I lived in a small town, right around 4000 people. I went to the private Catholic school in the area, which was even smaller, I graduated with 15 in my class and there were less than 300 students total at the time. Despite this very small amount of people, 6 students and faculty members have been diagnosed with cancer over the past 5 years. The odds are so unbelievably slim that I am sure something cancer causing, is in the building, but who knows what, or where it is. Have the water tested? Small town. I'm guessing the possibility of wells. Could maybe be the water source the school is using. Big Mac keeps getting smaller. Allowed to operate freely, corporations would gladly abandon any semblance of ethics to turn a profit, including ushering in the slavery and or deaths of their customers. Companies are offering monthly payment plans in an effort to normalize, having a low income and high debt. Software updates at the end of a product lifetime will brick the device. Lunch meat cut as thin as possible just tastes better. The flavor has got nowhere to hide. People who buy NFTs don't know it actually exist, it is just a money laundering scheme. The NFL politicized kneeling to distract from CTE research. There is at least one giant creature deep down in the ocean, that we don't know about because we have never seen before. Like maybe one of those megalodon slash plesiosaurs. We thought giant squids were renoid real, until we found one. Oh and also maybe a leon so vertical bar. I like getting carried away with this stuff, and since there is no real 100% evidence that the answer is no, what is wrong with thinking it might be true? My co-worker lies about her medical conditions. She lies that she has seizures, and while I cannot prove it, I know it is a lie, because she'll drive the same day that she claims to have a seizure. Anytime you mention any medical condition, she has it, and it is worse than your case. She has mentioned 
having toxic shock syndrome, colitis, and a bunch of other things I cannot recall at the moment. One day we were talking about autism, and she mentioned that her 22Y. Oh. Daughter, who also happens to work with us, was diagnosed as a child. A few days later the daughter casually mentioned that she had found out just recently that she is autistic. I wanted to tell her that she only just found out because her mom just recently made that up. The person reading this is sitting or laying down. Sandwiches made for you are absolutely better than sandwiches you make yourself. Coke slash soft drinks taste better in glass bottles than plastic. Holiday shaped Snickers taste better than regular Snickers bars. Same for special shaped Kraft Mac and cheese. I have scientific evidence that the dinosaur chicken nuggets taste better than their round counterparts. The obtuse shapes of the prehistoric poultry pieces allows for a more thorough cooking of the meat slurry, and the edges grab sauce better, and get a better, more even crisp. You missed the most important one, Easter egg shaped reso's peanut butter cups. I am convinced that theme parks slash fairs slash carnivals pay people to walk around with giant prizes to make the games look more winnable and convince more people to play. Tales from the Carnival by Adam Buckley details the Cretorer's experience working at a carnival. He said that all the games are rigged and the operators let attractive couples win so they can walk around the carnival with the large prizes as a form of advertising. Find Tales from the Carnival here, https slash slash adosiafbuckley bandcamp com slash album slash tales from the carnival humans can communicate telepathically we just don't know how to use it on purpose this along with the whole are emotional or nerdy or no thing my mum found me overdosing when i was a teen and there was absolutely no reason for her to break her routine she always maintained something told her she would regret it tomorrow if she did not check slash say goodnight to me. The correlation between feeling you're right and actually being right is low to moderate. This feels right. Having the most upvotes doesn't mean the statement is true. We are never going to contact intelligent alien life. It probably exists, but the universe is simply too big. We've let ourselves get carried away with sci-fi depictions of impossible technologies that we assume one day we'll be able to cross vast distance in the blink of an eye, but it's more likely that we just can't. Our dog knew my wife was pregnant before she did. Normally she was a sweet and lazy lovable dumbass who would hang out with whoever wasn't moving. The dog, not the wife, then one day, she decided she wasn't going to leave my wife's side. She wasn't aggressive, but she wasn't going anywhere either. Followed her everywhere for a few weeks, then spousal unit started getting sick, and went to the doctor, and the doctor said, let's check the obvious. And now I have an 8 year old daughter, and that dog is her constant companion. At least half the US government can't beat a 5th grader in 5th grade trivia. Some modern art is priced so high because rich people utilize it for money laundering. Saw it on a ridiculous conspiracy comment and I have never been able to shake it since. Edit, apparently Pharaoh has a load of evidence supporting this. Thanks for the info and documentary recommendations. I'm convinced that other people are not mere philosophical zombies. HTTPS, N. Wikipedia org slash wiki slash philosophical underscore zombie, but rather that they have similar interiority, consciousness awareness, and qualitative experiences as I do. That is what a philosophical zombie would say. That incompetence and self-interest is responsible for most of the bad that happens in world politics rather than conspiracies. That the Polynesians made it into North and South America long before anyone else. I am talking like 4000 years ago. Ancient Polynesians were so good at circumnavigation that they knew exactly where they were going roughly 2000 years before their counterparts. It was not until 1759 that Europeans knew how to figure out where they were at sea, latitude wise. That was when a sextant was invented. 
There is no physical evidence of them making it to the Americas, however they have made it equally as far west, so why not east? Also, and I know this is not evidence, but there is a tribe in the Amazon who believes that their people were saved and brought from their original homeland to the jungle on the coast of Peru. They do not describe a god, they describe others bringing them from super far distances in a ship and then leaving to go back that incredibly far distance. That tribe has had DNA tests done, and they carry a lot of the same DNA as Polynesians, all the way into the center of Brazil. The DNA comes from between PAPAA New Guinea and the Andaman Islands from the Bay of Bengal and even some from the New Zealand area. Intelligent life exists outside of our solar system, aliens exist. That my sweet, innocent shy dog is a diabolical mastermind who creates scenarios that get my hyperactive dog into trouble in order to maintain his favorite title among friends and family. I've seen some things. Poor Wendy. You've been visited by the ghost of a very important man. Pay your respects by liking and subscribing, and he'll grant you three weeks of good luck. Three weeks of